Hello, welcome to Cooking with Kathy. I'm Kathy Witt from Holy Cross Health. This is part of our diabetes prevention program. Today I'm making minestrone soup in the Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can certainly use a regular pot and we have provided you with the recipes so you can look at the recipes for a regular pot. So today I'll start with onion and I have my garlic cubes that I use to make it a little easier. Comes in a little ice cube tray. You can get it in the freezer section of your grocery store. So I'll cut the onion. I'm gonna show you how to get nice even di dice with the onion. So first thing I do is cut it in half. You can see I just cut it in half and then I'm gonna cut off only one end. You can see that there, I'm just cutting off one end and I'm gonna leave this part on and then I'll peel away the skin. And I always have a little bowl on the counter to throw away my scraps. And then you can compost that later if you wanna do that. All right, so I get all the skin out of the way and I'm just gonna cut to the end here where I left it intact. I make nice little slices and, you know, use your claw. Again, get the skin out of the way. Use your claw, keep your fingers curled under so you don't cut your fingers. Make sure your knives are sharp. Always practice food safety, food safety as well, washed hands. So the beefing is the Instant Pot. It's on the saute mode and it's heated up. It's ready in the saute mode. So I will add the onion. And you don't want to use your knife to break things off the cutting board because you will dull them. So it's nice to have a little scraper like this. So I'm going to saute the onion and the garlic. So if you're doing this with a regular pot, you're gonna saute three to four minutes and also in the Instant Pot, you're gonna saute three to four minutes. I'm gonna get the garlic and the onion going first and then I'm gonna add carrot and celery, about a cup each, so that means one large carrot. The onion is one small onion, two cloves of garlic. So then I dice my carrots. The carrots take a while to cook, so in the Instant Pot, everything is really fast. So you don't have to worry about that. So I do my carrot, my celery, and then I'm going to add that. And again, saute for like three to four minutes. Watch these last few pieces are a little tricky, so just be careful. And I'll add that. I like this cutting board with the feet. Have you ever noticed how your cutting boards like to slide around? So make sure you stick a little grippy mat under them so they don't slide or get one with the feet. Not very helpful. Let me get this guy ran away. So I'm going to saute for three to four minutes. And then while I'm sauteing, I can start adding in the spices. So the first thing I'm going to add in is the tomato paste, you guys can see, because you want to get that, it just gets more flavorful if you saute it with vegetables, you don't have to, if you dump it in with your sauce, it's fine, but this way just gives it a little more flavor, I just want to have nice flavor. Okay, I have three quarters of a teaspoon of thyme. Going in, one teaspoon oregano, two tablespoons of basil, and then only one bay leaf. You, you might be tempted to add more than one, very strong, just one. So when the Instant Pot is finished sauteing, you will get another series of beefs. And that's going to happen soon. So in the meantime, I will add one can of crushed tomatoes. And then I'm going to add 
low sodium vegetable broth. So you can add water or not, you don't need to. And I still have it on saute, so I'm gonna give it a little stir. So you use salt and pepper at the end. You, for, to taste, you, you don't really need it. And last time I made this recipe, I didn't even need salt and pepper, so it's nice if you can use other seasonings. This is a gluten-free pasta shells. So this is a cup. I have a cup left in the box. So I just dump the whole box in. Well, it's not the whole box because I think this is a cup left. And that really is nice and cute. All right, another little stir. So now I'm going to cancel the saute mode. Stir that around. Cancel the saute mode. And I'm going to put it on pressure cook, but only for two minutes. And then I'll seal it. And then I turn the little, let me see. I turn this little sealer here. I close that so that it comes, the pressure builds. And then you're gonna release pressure for like five or 10 minutes, not very long, maybe five. And then at the end, you can add your, so after the firm vegetables cook, you can add your beans, chickpeas, kidney beans, whatever you like. I'll leave those right there. And then you can add more vegetables. So today I am adding some zucchini, some nice zucchini. It's in season now. We're in Florida, so the zucchini is in season. I'm not going to cut it too small because it's going to cook really fast. When you take this lid off the instant pot, it's going to be boiling. If you're using a regular pot, you're going to bring it to a boil and then you're going to saute for, I mean, you're going to simmer. You're going to simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then when you're done simmering 25, 30 minutes, then you can add your beans, your zucchini, if you want to put kale or spinach. So you add it at the end, cabbage, whatever you like. So it's a nice recipe to be creative with, super healthy. Again, watch your sodium moderation. And then when you serve, you can put Parmesan cheese on, you can serve with some nice bread. You can also, I like to put a little drizzle of uh, balsamic vinegar that gives it a really nice flavor. You can also put a little lemon juice that, that gives the taste of salt. The lemon acts on the palate like salt. So you uh, could cut back on your sodium. So here you have the finished product. So this is gonna take a little while, not long. And I'll have to watch it. So here's the finished product. Your nice minestrone soup, full of vegetables, lots of good fiber. There's protein because of the beans. And also the pasta I used is made from chickpea flour. So you get some protein there as well. Thanks for joining everyone. See you next time.